Brick Chick here and I'm super excited because this past weekend I went to Brick World Chicago. I've told you guys before that I've never been to a LEGO convention but I really really want to go to one. It just seems like all the LEGO conventions are so far away from where I live and I just didn't know if I'd be able to convince my family to take me to one. But I finally got to go to a LEGO convention. I went to Brick World Chicago just on Saturday but it was absolutely amazing. It was everything I thought it would be. There were just so many cool mocks there. It was such an amazing experience. And so I'm making this video to kind of talk about that and talk about my experience at Brick World Chicago. So I wasn't even sure if we were gonna be able to go to Brick World Chicago. It was kind of a last minute decision. So a couple months ago, I mentioned it to my parents. I was like, hey, I really, really want to go to this. I've never been to a Lego convention and this might be my only chance. So I was like, you know, save the date, make sure we're possibly available to go. And for a while, it seemed like we were for sure going to go because we weren't going on an actual vacation this year since we went to the Grand Canyon last year. So we might have just, you know, gone on a little mini vacation, you know, a little weekend trip this year. And I was like, hey, we could just go to this. This could be our little mini vacation or whatever. And for a while, it seemed like we were definitely going to go. It was going to work. And then we got super busy and it didn't seem like we were going to be able to go. And I kind of forgot about it. And I was like, hey, this is coming up in like two weeks and I still really want to go. And luckily we were able to make it work and I was able to go for Saturday. So Schaumburg, which is where the convention was held, it's really close to Chicago. So they just call it Brick World Chicago. So that sounds a lot cooler than Brick World Schaumburg. Schaumburg is about five hours from where I live. So we left around like 10 Friday morning and we got to Schaumburg around 3, we checked into our hotel, hung out for a little bit, and then we went to Ikea because apparently there's an Ikea like within walking distance of the hotel where we were staying. So we went there because Ikea is really cool. I just lo love looking at all the Swedish furniture and everything. It's just a really cool place. Lots of cool things there. There's actually an Ikea pretty close to where I live, so I've been to an Ikea before, but this one was a little different, so it was really cool. Then we went back to the hotel and we got dinner and then we went to the pool so it was really fun you know being able to stay in a hotel I love staying in hotels because you know you get to go to the pool and it's just really cool and we were like watching TV and stuff and then the next morning we went to the uh, hotel buffet really really good food that was an amazing breakfast and then we went to the convention so the convention center was really close to the hotel where we were staying. It was actually, I think within walking distance, you could see it from our hotel. And we got there about like 10 minutes before the convention actually started. It started at 10 and then it ended at 4 and we stayed for pretty much the whole time. We got there at like 9.50 and we stayed till like 3.30 I think. And since we got there 10 minutes before the convention started, we were waiting in line and we were towards the beginning of one of the lines. There were multiple depending on, you know, if you're paying with cash or credit card or whatever. And I could see the, you know, the convention, the doors were open so I could see all the Lego Max in there and I had to wait there for 10 minutes to go in. So it was, I was, you know, I was getting very impatient. I just wanted to run in there and look at everything. And then it was 10 o'clock and we finally got to go in. There were so many people, but luckily we were towards the front. So we were able to go in before a lot of other people were. And for like five minutes, I was just like kind of, you know, walking around a little bit. I was just like looking because there was this huge room filled with hundreds and hundreds of Lego mocks. And it was really overwhelming for me. Honestly, I did not know it was going to be that amazing and it was just so overwhelming and for like five minutes I didn't know where I wanted to start you know what did I want what I wanted to look at first and my family was like come on we gotta you know start somewhere and start looking and finally I was like okay you know I gotta uh, get my head in the game and look at all these Lego mocks so they had all the Lego mocks kind of divided into categories you know they had like moving things and Star Wars and castles kind of but then there were some you know tables where it was a bunch of different Lego mocks there and they had the table set up in uh, squares so there were multiple squares with Lego mocks on you know all around them so you could walk around in a square see all the mocks in that area and then move on to the next set of tables and walk around there and see all the mocks. And it was just really amazing and inspiring to see all these mocks, you know, I was like looking closely to see, you know, how they build that, what building technique did they use. It was really cool for me to see all these, you know, some of these people are definitely master builders. 
it was just amazing some of these marks there were some really cool things uh, there were some cool things using power functions you know moving things there are these amazing castles and these whole like micro scale cities and some of these people spend so much time making these mocks. There was this one, it was like this whole, like a kingdom pretty much with a castle and a village and everything and farmland. And there was this thing, it said, you know, this uses 400,000 pieces, it cost me like $40,000 to make, and it took me seven years to build. I was like, wow, that's a long time, but you know, obviously it makes sense. It was a massive, very detailed mock, so obviously it would take you know years to make but wow seven years that's a really long time I can't imagine how much patience and dedication that would take to spend that much time making one Lego mock and it was just so cool I did not know there were gonna be that many mocks there like pretty much the whole time we were walking around looking at all the mocks and you know towards the end like my legs were so sore but I had to keep going you know it was a good workout because you were just standing there walking around kind of slowly you know following the line of people and so it it took a lot of it was a lot of exercise and a really good leg workout and what was really cool for me is that not only I got to see these Lego mocks but I also got to go with my family and you know no one else in my family is, is super interested in Lego but they do think it's cool and seeing them like you know be shocked at how cool these Lego mocks are and be like freaking out at how cool it is or you know pointing something out to me or saying that's so cool was really cool for me because they were interested in Lego and they thought it was really cool and you know they were getting excited with me and they really enjoyed the convention and that was just really awesome because I was kind of worried I was like you know we're gonna go there and they're gonna get bored and want to leave early and they're not gonna be interested in it but sometimes I thought they were more excited and more interested in seeing the mocks than I was and that was just really cool for me and my sister especially thought that the mocks were cool she was pointing things out to me and just thought all the mocks were really cool and then besides all the mocks, there were also lots of vendors. I didn't end up buying anything. I spent like half an hour going through all the vendors and looking at everything because there were just, there were probably like 20 vendors and it was hard to look at every little thing that they were selling, all the minifigures, all the pieces, because there were so many people at all the, you know, at all the vendors. And so it was kind of hard. I didn't end up buying anything, which is okay. You know, I didn't want to buy something just to buy something. So now I can just save that money and buy some Lego sets. But seeing all the vendors was really cool. Some people had some custom stuff. There was one where they had like Lego jewelry. They had like earrings and necklaces and stuff, which is really cool. And then some had like, uh, there were a lot of them that were selling like custom uh, guns and stuff like that, you know, uh, for like, you know, setting up uh, like war mocks and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And then there were also ones that were selling like custom printed pieces, which is really cool. And then there were some that were just selling like minifigures from old collectible series, uh, you know, collectible minifigure series, and then some that were selling Lego sets. And the Brick Show was there, they were one of the vendors there, and I was kind of disappointed because I was like, oh my gosh, I actually get to meet Jason and Steven, I believe that's what their names are, I might have messed that up, but I'm pretty sure their names are Jason and Steven, the two main people who make YouTube videos for the Brick Show YouTube channel. I think they're super cool. I love their videos. They're one of the first Lego YouTubers that I started watching. So it was just really cool. And I'm pretty sure that normally they go to conventions and they're the ones, you know, running their store and selling stuff. But unfortunately, they weren't there. There were some other people there running their store. So I was kind of disappointed about that. I was really hoping I'd be able to meet them. But I did see some other LEGO YouTubers there. I didn't actually go up to them and say hi because I was too shy to. And it'd be kind of weird because I haven't done a face review or anything, so I wasn't going to go up and be like, hi, I'm the brick chick. You know, as people don't know what I look like, I haven't done a face review yet, so that'd be kind of weird. But I did see M&R Productions. I love his videos. I recently started watching his videos, and I think he's a really cool LEGO YouTuber. And I actually saw him there. I didn't say hi or anything, but he just walked past me. It was when I, you know, we first went into the convention center and I was kind of looking around not knowing where to go. And then I started looking at some mocks and he just walked past me and I just stopped. I was like, oh my gosh, he just walked past me. That's so cool. And my mom was like, what? Why are you just standing there? I was like, oh my gosh, that was M&R Productions. And she knew who he was. I told her that uh, he was going to be there. I knew that he was going to Brickwell, Chicago. She was asking me if I knew any other like, YouTubers that were going to go there. So she knew who he was. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And there was someone walking next to him. And now, looking back, I'm pretty sure that was just too good. 
I've told you guys, I absolutely love his videos, especially his thoughts videos. He's such a great LEGO YouTuber. But I just got a glimpse of him, so I don't really remember what he looked like. I know he hasn't done an official face reveal, so it's kind of a big mystery. No one really knows what he looks like, so unfortunately, I didn't get to see what he looked like. But if I did, I probably wouldn't tell you guys just because I want to respect his privacy. If he wants to do a face reveal, he'll do one. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want other people telling people what he looks like. But if that was him, that is so awesome because I saw Just Too Good and m and Productions, two LEGO YouTubers who I love. And then something else really exciting happened while I was there. It was just like perfect timing. So I'm sure you guys have heard of Beyond the Brick, their YouTube channel, and they go to a lot of LEGO conventions, and a lot of times they interview, you know, a LEGO builder and have them show their mock, and then they make a video on it and put it on their YouTube channel. And I've watched a lot of their videos because you know, I haven't been able to go to any LEGO conventions until now. And so watching their videos is kind of like being at the LEGO convention. I get to see this cool mock and, you know, listen to them interview the builder. And it just so happened that as I was looking at this really cool, huge Game of Thrones mock, which was absolutely amazing, they happened to be right there making their video on the mock and interviewing the builder. And so I was like kind of walking around, I was like, wait, oh my gosh, that's them. And then I told my family who they were and they were like, oh, that's cool. And so I was kind of standing there. So I might be in the video. I'm not sure. I just checked. They haven't uploaded any of their interviews or their videos from Brickwell Chicago yet. But that would be so cool if I'm, if I'm actually in the background of the video. That would be so cool. It was just so weird. It was perfect timing. I just happened to be right there when they were filming it. And so I kind of, you know, stayed and I was listening to the questions that they were asking the builder. And, you know, I saw the cameraman go around and uh, film the mock and everything. And that was just such a cool experience. It just worked out with the timing for that. And then also when I walked past m and Productions and who I think was just too good. So yeah, as you guys can obviously tell, I thoroughly enjoyed my experience at Brickworld Chicago. It was absolutely amazing and I'm just so thankful that my family agreed to take me there. I'm glad that they had fun and they enjoyed seeing the mocks. It was just fun because, you know, I got to go stay in a hotel and, you know, have fun there and then go to the convention. It was just kind of a fun experience, a little mini vacation. And it was just so cool. I'm glad that I got to at least go for Saturday. I did not expect my parents to, you know, stay for Sunday too. That would have been too much to ask of them. But it was just so amazing to be able to go and see all these mocks. And I actually got to see some people. You know, I saw m and Productions and who I think was just too good. And then I got to see Beyond the Brick making a video on a mock, which, which was really, really cool. And you guys are probably wondering why I didn't tell you guys that I was going to be going to Brickworld Chicago beforehand, you know, before I actually went. And that's just because my parents didn't really want me to. They didn't want me trying to meet up with people, you know, especially since I haven't done a face reveal, that'd be kind of weird meeting up with people, you know, and then being able to see me in real life. I'm just not really ready for that yet, but definitely in the future, once I'm an adult and, you know, I choose to make a face reveal and then I can go and meet people and meet these other LEGO YouTubers. So I'm sorry if you happen to be there too and you're disappointed because you didn't get to meet me, but honestly, I just wanted to go with my family and have a good time with them. And I didn't really want to be meeting all these other people. That'd be kind of weird since my family's there too. You know, I couldn't go off and look at mocks with other people or whatever, or talk to them, because I wanted to look at the mocks with my family. But hopefully I'll be able to go to lots of other LEGO conventions in the future, especially when I'm an adult and I can just go by myself or maybe with some, you know, friends that I meet who also like LEGO. That'd be really cool to be able to go and meet other LEGO YouTubers. But yeah, it was a really, really fun experience. It was just amazing. And I still can't believe that I actually got to go. It was just surreal, like actually being there and being with, you know, probably thousands of people that were there that loved LEGO and thought it was amazing. It was just really cool, especially since I don't know any people who like LEGO, you know, I don't have any friends who like LEGO. So being there and not feeling weird because I like LEGO and knowing that all these other people love LEGO and they went there just to see all these mocks is really cool. And at this point you guys are probably like, wow, you went and saw all these really cool mocks and you're describing them, but we don't know what they look like. Well, you're in luck because while I was there, I took lots of pictures 
and also some videos and so now I'm going to add those into the video so you guys can see pictures and videos of all the really cool mocks that I saw. And I'm sorry if the picture or video quality isn't the best. I just took all the pictures and videos on my phone. I didn't know how the video quality would be on my video camera, you know, with the lighting there without being at my filming table with my lights. So I didn't know how that would work out. So I just decided to take all the pictures and videos on my phone. So I'm sorry if the quality isn't the best, but I hope you can at least enjoy the pictures and see all the really cool mocks that I got to see.
guys enjoyed seeing all those pictures and videos of the really cool mocks that were at Brick World Chicago, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe so that you know when I make new videos. And thanks for watching, guys.